In this video we'll show how to add test cases in bulk quickly and efficiently using the HP ALM add-in for Microsoft Excel. If you like our videos check out our pro training courses. Our pro training programs are designed for people who need results fast. The most up-to-date ALM training, knowledgeable instructors, and we work around your personal schedule. For more information go to www.machinedata.com slash pro dash training. If you want to stay in the loop, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter at Machine Data Sys. Okay, in this uh, short video we're going to walk you through the process of uploading test cases from Microsoft Excel to HP ALM 12.5. Now, there's a couple different ways to put test cases into ALM and sometimes uh, using Excel is a great way to get a lot of test cases uploaded very quickly without a lot of data entry. So let's see what goes into it. First, you need to download and install the add-in for ALM. It looks like this. Here's an example of Microsoft Excel with the add-in loaded. You'll see a separate tab here once the add-in is installed. So you have to get that add-in from the ALM site. So how do you do that? You go to the main page, click Tools, then click more HP ALM add-ons which takes you out to the HP website and then you go to the add-ins section at the top here click on add-ins for Microsoft apps and choose Microsoft Excel so now you're gonna get a list of different versions of the Excel add-in so just choose the appropriate one for uh, your software in our case we're running ALM 12.20 and uh, the instructions are here so when you download and install it, you don't have to have admin administrative privileges. Uh, if you do, that's great. Uh, it'll, it'll enable the add-in for all users on that me machine. If you just have regular permissions, then, it, then the add-in will be only be, be enabled for your user ID on the PC. So basically you download, run, install. It's a couple of wizard screens and it goes pretty quickly. Once you have it installed, then uh, you'll have to restart Excel and then you'll see the, uh, the add-in. So once you have the add-in loaded, it's important then to get your data ready so that you, uh, you are ready to do the import. Here's an example of a formatted uh, set of data. And I want to draw your attention to a couple of things. Uh, first of all, if you're just uh, using a normal uh, uh, data from Excel, you may have to organize your columns or add extra columns um, of data to match the information that ALM is going to receive. Here, for example, is our ALM demo project, and when we look at any particular test cases, we can see that there's a number of different uh, fields here, such as the level, reviewed, priority, and so forth. So you need to make sure that you have your data all lined up so that the, the import goes smoothly. In this case, I'm illustrating a couple of things. Uh, all these are manual test cases. There's two manual test cases. The first one, has just one step to it the second one has three steps to it so this is how you would structure it if you had if you wanted to also include the design steps in your test case secondly uh, if I want to park my test case in a specific folder then I use uh, a column for the subject in the subject tree and set up the path to my test case accordingly Okay, so you do it by a backslash and what that does is that it will create the necessary folders and then the test cases within that folder. So that's a, a quick tip for you. The other thing to be careful of is that if you do this import over and over and over again, it will overwrite whatever's already there. So that's why I always recommend that people do this uh, import on a test project first, make sure it gets imported smoothly and set up the way you want it to, and then point it to your project, the production project, and do the final import there. And you can import one or two test cases at a time or all of your test cases at a time just by highlighting the necessary rows. So let's do this example here very quickly. First thing is I launch it with my uh, add-in enabled and I click the login button to log in to my project. So I select my project and click login. Now that I'm logged in, I can set up my mapping. Now if I already have a mapping file, I can open it and, uh, and use it. Otherwise, I'm starting from scratch just like I am here. So the mapping, uh, starts by selecting the entity type. In this case, 
uh, we're going to do tests. So here you can see all the different fields that ALM has. And here are the mandatory fields. So at the minimum, we need to have the mandatories there, and they should be in your data. So the second thing is we need to make sure we have all of our other uh, columns mapped. Um, uh, and we'll just do that very quickly here. We have a description. Uh, we have a test type, test name. Uh, the step name is going to be next, then the step description. Okay, sorry, the step description and the expected result. The order doesn't really matter here because you're going to um, you're going to fill in the column names here manually or use the auto map feature to read the spreadsheet and try to map them automatically. I usually, if I have the headers uh, the way I, I want them labeled, I dis, uh, disable this checkbox so that uh, it doesn't mess up my first row. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight the uh, subject here. So that's column A. Test name is column C. Test type is column B. Then D, E, F, and G, I think. Okay. So once I have that, my mapping is done. And then all I have to do is highlight the data I want to import and click validate. It's going to do a quick check to make sure that all the columns are right and all the values are valid for the import. It's 99% accurate, so uh, it's, uh, it's a great tool. It's a great enhancement to this feature. And finally, when, you're, when the validation is passed, you can then upload to ALM. And uh, if there's no problems, then it will uh, do the inserts and you will have your data in ALM just like that. So here, if I jump to HP ALM, refresh my subject tree, I will see that I have um, a new folder called My Tests, a new subfolder called Imported, two subfolders, one for mobile and web, with my individual test cases. And you can see that some of these values are blank because I didn't have them in my source data. Uh, so that's the, why you need to prepare your data in advance and make sure you're satisfied with the import before you do it for real. And also you can see that this one had all three steps and this one had uh, two steps here as well. Okay, so that's a quick introduction. Obviously, there's a few nuances, tips and tricks, but that'll at least get you started when it comes to using this, uh, this Excel add-in. Thanks for watching and look forward to our other um, videos uh, on YouTube.